To make this kind of buttons with uh, picots, we will have to take already pre-made button in the shape of a donut, like this one, and we will crochet around it picots, and I'll show you how to make it. So I'll pick up a contrast color, different color thread. You can make them as trad in traditional Irish crochet in one color, but it's easier to show in the video when it's done in color. So insert the hook into the button, into the edge of it, and pick up thread of a different color or the same color if you like, and make a slip stitch. Now you will also uh, pay attention to the short tail. You can crochet around it as you crochet around the edge. So make sure it's laying around the edge and you can crochet over this piece of thread. At the same time you will weave it in and you don't have to weave it in later. So the next step, make single crochet stitch into the edge of the button make another single crochet stitch so two single crochet stitches and then we will make pico you can make pico of three stitches or four stitches it depends what kind of stitch, what kind of picos, uh, size of picos you like. So I made four stitches chain, and I crochet a pico, close the pico with single crochet, and continue over the edge of the button. Crochet three single crochet stitches. One, two and three. And as you're noticing, I am crocheting over this short tail. Three single crochet stitches and we have a pico. Now again pico. I made chain of four stitches for pico, close the pico and continue crochet. Again, three single crochet stitches. Again, make a pico and continue again with three single crochet stitches. Make another pico. And continue three single crochet stitches. Pico. And three single crochet stitches. we, as you remember, we started with two single crochet stitches. It is done by uh, on purpose for this um, size of a button. Most buttons will be the same way. You start with two single crochet stitches, follow this uh, pattern, make at the end one more pico, and 
you should have enough stitches at the end to finish it so that the distance will be just even and make one single crochet stitch and you're done so you had two single crochet stitches here pico three single crochet stitches pico repeat three single crochet pico and at the end pico one single crochet and you have two and one three single crochet stitches at the end you always close your work with slip stitch cut thread the thread that you were crocheting around this is the thread you can cut this off because you already crocheted over it and this thread is weaved in and you will have to deal only with this right here with this end Make sure not to split your thread, which is very easy to do, depends on the thread and the eyelet of your needle. Just doesn't want to work for me. You can sometimes make uh, water, put a little bath. Um, glass of water and make the end of thread a little bit wet and if it continues must be heavy you can cut piece of thread at the end and try one more time so this last piece of thread you insert to the back thread so that your front will look nice and neat and weave in the thread into the button inside the body of a button it's very easy to weave in thread inside the button Again, if it is cotton thread, you can weave in one round or two. If it is silk, um, weave in in the round five, up to five times, just to be secure and to know that your thread will not unravel. So when you're done weaving in, you cut thread off and here you will have this kind of button 